Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. And some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Be 
in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rook, I mean. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern it. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much out here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. Let's go and show some time. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie, on me. And you, just try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on, We will not let their greed, or their immorality, or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you know, there will be no more things. suffering. Oh, fuck it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, do not touch that service weapon. Hold on and don't stand down. Stand down. Put your guns down. Everyone calm down. We knew this moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And the hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Sometimes it's the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Marshal, take point, we're going right. On it. Keep back! Rookie, 
P. Keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Hey, stand down. Come on. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. Kept you under the shadow of his wings. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these. The Harbingers of Doom will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the refight! We gotta get out of here. Come
Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula, and then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh. it weren't for you we got to get back but we got to be smart we don't know who we can trust fucking nancy oh no oh no they got the roads blocked
children. We must give thanks to God. The day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Anybody? Anybody? Just said this. Come here, deputy. We need to talk. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. The little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is... There ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. 
I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's waiting them. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. You may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. Just grab them up. Get crafting.
just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. thinking and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there. Now, head west, 
to the Holland Valley. John Seeds just rolled in there and has taken everything in the name of the cult. Food, supplies, and worst of all, people. Now, they're gonna have plenty more calls all over the county. I'll keep you posted on anything that'll be useful. Fog should be clearing soon, which means we can get you off this island. Sit tight, shouldn't be much longer. Oh shit. Deputy, I'm picking up something new out of Holland Valley. It's a broadcast from John. You need to see this. We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dream could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Center. Yes. I wish to be unburdened. Yes. I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins. And you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Fuck. John Seed's got your partner, Hudson. She's in a world of shit, kid. You gotta get going. to your map to get you started. Lumber Mill up north, the Hope County Jail to the east, and the town of Falls End to the west. Now it's your call, but if I were you, I'd start with Falls End. Reinforcements inbound! Please the father! <laughs> 
hurts. Thanks for the help. Coming right at you! Trust is earned. I'm giving. You got real hard, kid. I can't believe those fuckers were keeping folks prisoners there, waiting for their indoctrination. <sighs> Thanks for springing Jess. That niece of mine is as tough as nails, but she's got a nag for trouble. Check in on her for me, would you? You sure as hell know how to handle yourself. Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. But believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. It's gonna take more than a little way. love to bring this place back up to spec. See that? That's his calling card. Innocent people, burned alive. It's gonna take more than a little love to bring this place back up to spec. Goddamn cults grabbing everyone. They'll take you from your home, the bar, even church. Don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. And anyone who can't or won't fight for him winds up dead. Cullen the herd, he calls it. Wholesale slaughter innocent people. Nobody believed it was happening because nobody wanted to believe. On the move. Colt up ahead. There's the one we're after. The cook. What He's was one that? of Jacob's favorites. The one who leads his purging. Hope you found something the good. bought into all of Jacob's bullshit. This motherfucker's gonna get what he deserves. I think I did okay that time. All right, almost there. Yeah. People locked up, though. Treat trouble like ahead. Fucking animals. Keep them in cages. Okay, let's do this. But keep your head down. 
where they spot us, those hostages are dead. Let's have a look. Careful. Stay low. Gonna kill me. Oh, Get me out of here. Thank you so much. Hell, I was just about to shit my cook. Glad you came along before that. There's more of us. The, the he took them up the mountain. He took them up the mountain. Okay. Oh, God. You want to know why they call him the cook? A couple years back, Jacob sent one of his guys out to round up this family. How am I all in one Parents piece? and kids. First thing he did was starve them. Gave him nothing. Not even a drop of water. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. But the kids didn't want to do it. So the parents forced it down their throats. The kids puked it right back up. Cook didn't like that. So he went and strung the parents up on posts under the hot sun. Hold up. I heard something. I really hope the rumors of experimenting on animals is untrue. Let's look at what's going on. Cover me, I'm going in. Execute them. Take point. I got your back. Remember, if they spot us, those people are dead on sight. Should be helping with the reaping. <sighs> if I die, I'm going out with dignity. Once the reaping is done, we don't <gasps> let him go. I think this is it. Move it! For Egypt! 
going loud. We're One under down. attack! Kill them all! My family and now me. Head to lower ground! I know how this is gonna end. I thought I was done for. It Thanks. Won't be me. What a bunch of assholes. Someone's looking out for us. Things are pretty messed up if you haven't They're gonna Praise the Lord. Thanks, Deputy. Thank you. Oh, God. The cook took the rest of the pit. I need help. Can't believe you saved me. Let's go. That'll give me flashbacks. So the cook... He had the parents on posts and decided to give the kids a little water. And then he asked if they were hungry. The kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. Cook asked if they want pork. The kids said yes. So he went out to the parents and took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market. And the blood poured like a damn faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. Jacob has taken so many from the Whitetail Militia, it's hard to keep morale up. Pretty soon there were no more piggies left. So he laughed and set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. When they finally stopped screaming, I looked around and he was just gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. Jacob's got the wrong idea about sacrifice. The militia could teach him a thing or two about that. Let's take a better look. The weak are impure and unworthy! There he is. The fucking cook. Their Come souls on. are Come plagued on. by filth! Damn it, he's burning them. We work too hard. So he cooks them with the flame! Just like my trade kicked in, okay? That was right. Cook's dead, and I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy, and now. I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's just been right about a lot of shit lately. Colt. Eli. Maybe he's right about you, too. You, uh... You need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh... Thanks. For everything you've done. Well... <laughs> Deputy. 
That niece of mine. She don't make friends easy, but if you want things done quickly and quietly, she's your girl. Keep her safe for me, okay? She's been through a lot. Gotta get my kill quota up. 